Groovy. Assassin's Creed was directed by Justin Curzel and stars Michael Fassbender and is based off of the very popular Assassin's Creed game made by Ubisoft. Now I want to put out a little disclaimer for why I'm reviewing this film. With Mortal Kombat, this new reboot of the 1995 movie that came out, with this being another video game adaptation that they're trying to bring to the big screen, I thought this was a great, a great little way for me to talk about the last video game adaptation I saw in the theater. Because I'm going to the theater to go see that film. Because it looks great. And that movie was unfortunately 2016's Assassin's Creed. Yay me. So the plot of Assassin's Creed revolves around Michael Fassbender's character as he is being killed for a crime. And he is secretly brought back by a secret agency that has technology that can send him back into the body of his ancestor to perform parkour, killing people sneakily, just like he does in the game, and of course do base jumping without any parachutes. And the reason why he's doing this is to obtain this MacGuffin, this item called the Apple of Eden. And they feel if they get that, they can reduce violence from all of mankind. Now I'm a huge fan of video games, particularly some video game adaptations but i have to be really picky because here's the thing as much as i am a fan of video games uh the video game movies that's a whole nother subject because track record wise and if you look at all of them they're pretty much all terrible and i really thought with this movie with michael fassbender we would no longer receive movies like house of the dead we would no longer receive atrocities like mortal kombat annihilation and when I went to see this movie, and when it was all over, I was wrong. This is another garbage, poorly made video game adaptation movie. So let's start off with one thing that I hear a lot of people actually praise about this movie, the action scenes. And look, I'm not going to judge you if you do like the action scenes. But for me, these action scenes just don't work. There are so many quick cuts and all of this commotion that is going on within this scene that it just doesn't it just doesn't flow together you can tell so many cuts are in this one take of an action scene with this movie and here's the thing a lot of these action scenes you can tell are probably well done but whoever the heck edited this film they obviously were trying to imitate what peter greengrass did with the born film so if you like stuff that is well shot or in one beautiful take or action sequences like the Russos did in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Infinity War, or an Endgame, you're really not going to get that within this film. But I think my biggest problem with Assassin's Creed is that the story in this movie really doesn't make much sense. And look, guys, I'm somebody who plays the games, you know, I played one, two, three, and four and Unity as well as Road and a little bit of Syndicate. I have not played Origins or Odyssey. If you guys want to let me know how those games are in the comment section below, uh, just do that, okay? But yeah, with this movie, how the story is, it's almost like a jumble of scenes. You guys know how Transformers Revenge of the Fallen were pretty much just a bunch of scenes just sewed together? That's what this film feels like. And like I said, I play the games and I understand that the games are really confusing, but a lot of this stuff really doesn't make sense. And another thing too, this game is really, uh, <laughs> this movie is really centered with some of the violence in here. There are scenes in this movie where you expect people to just be, you know, blood all over the place. And when they show you it, it's like this little, small, little puddle of blood but then they color correct it just a certain way because they want to maintain that pg-13 rating and i really wish hollywood would stop doing that with movies like these especially when the games are rated mature all because they're scared that they're not going to get as many people into the theater in order to make money at the freaking box office that is so stupid the way that they do that and you can really tell michael fassbender and jeremy irons man who are obviously the best actors out of these out of this film they're really trying but what they're giving what they're getting with and the script all this stuff it's pretty much trash man so basically what they're doing is they're playing these pale imitations of these characters that we don't know anything about we barely know any backstory they have really no personality they're just these stock characters like christian stewart from freaking twilight and also there's another little <laughs> this is there's this little funny part of the movie to where michael fassbender is in this machine he's acting out everything that's happening 
uh, in the past that he's doing in his ancestor's body. But here's the thing. You ever notice how they only showing him really doing the epic stuff, whether that's fighting or maybe just um, base jumping or wall climbing, doing any of that stuff? I always wonder, what would it be like if he was just walking or just sneaking up on somebody? Or just riding a horse, would he just do this? You know how stupid that would be? <laughs> so overall, guys, Assassin's Creed is another one of those $5 throw-it-in-the-bin garbage video game adaptation movies that really gives you nothing that you really haven't seen before in any other garbage video game adaptation movie. And despite the fact that Michael Fassbender and Jeremy Irons are really trying with this script, they are really the only saving grace and they're the only reason I would ever recommend that you watch this film. Other than that, I'm going to give Assassin's Creed a 1 out of 5. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.